Good morning. Well, still can't believe this room. It's insane, but there's no rest for the wicked and there's no shortage of rooms. So on to the next one. All right, so it's not taking that long to make like a big impact in here. All the wood and the branches are gone and it's looking a lot better, but there is one problem in here. And that's that the floor here just like isn't great. You can see from underneath there's holes and stuff. I found one, so I think the safest thing to do is just start working my way back, dig the floor, and then if I have to, we can collapse the floor into the basement. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so here's the thing. I know many of you will disagree, but we are pretty safety cautious here. We don't want to do anything that's like too risky. And I just think this is. So I knew the floor here like wasn't great. I thought we could at least get, you know, it dug out. It seems like an impossibility that we can get this dug out without having to push everything through the basement, which I don't want to do because yeah, it's got to be done, but I just don't want to do that now. I'd rather get all the basement secure first. And then if the, if the roof or the floor's gone, it means water can get in. So I think we've got to leave this for now. is to get it to drop down and hopefully jump forward. I'm actually aiming for the gap between the two branches there.
I don't know how Nick does that. That looked pretty hairy. Anyway, we're gonna get this fire lit, get rid of all the rubbish. Luckily, because we've got Cameron on site, he's allowed to burn, so that's, that's pretty handy. Because Nick's working on clearing around the outside, there's one bit on the outside that is quite interesting. Now it's kind of a mound and I haven't found any of the original windows which were on the dormer, the granite windows. This looks like one could be underneath, so that's quite an exciting thing. No window, but it's nice and clear now. Another little job I wanted to get ticked off while everyone's here. We're gonna finally get this line in, this boundary line through the forest. We're all gonna separate and kind of see each other and then mark all the trees next to us and hopefully that gives us a good rough line. Okay, so I know the marker is there. The chateau is, well, that's what we're trying to find out. Okay, so we've all kind of got in a line. I'm gonna send the drone up, see if I can see everyone. Yeah, and then hopefully, if we can all see each other and I can see everyone with the drone, everyone's just gonna mark the trees. <laughs> Oh, 
Are right, you ready? Can everyone see each other? So much more visible now, just having these markers. Another one. Hello? Alright Nick. Is it? Alright, I'll be up. I'll be up. Okay, it's like, it's, there's someone arrived at the chateau with pictures of the interior before it was burnt. I don't know, let's just go. No, no, no. The house was des amis. They were des amis. That was probably the most valuable conversation and information I've ever had about the chateau. Wow, it really, really changes things. Now, I didn't film our conversation because, well, one, we were speaking French, and two, I just wanted to concentrate on kind of what he was showing me and telling me. But I've got photos of the photos. He's going to send me photocopies of the photos as well. And there's a really, there's some truths I learned, particularly about the burning down, which are pretty shocking. Anyway, before we get into that, I'm going to catch up with the guys, see what everyone's up to and finish off the last of the day. And then, well, you'll see. Gonna need a bigger car park. Well, that will spread up to here. So, I mean, next time if you wanted to, I can just finish clearing that area roughly out and then come down here with a digger and start spreading it a bit and see what we it. got. But yeah. then it's gonna allow the weather for it. Yeah. I get it tracked in on the digger as a rough level, you're still not gonna be able to drive on it with anything wheeled. Mm. But at least it's going to start settling and we can see what sort of area we're gaining and then moving across yeah, yeah, that yeah. way. Yeah. We've got what that another seven times probably. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Let me tell you about the information I've just found out. So, the guy who just popped by was an old friend of the last people that used to live here and he had a bank of photographs of all the interior, of all the staircase, of the kitchen, um, and he also had photos of the day after the fire, and he's given me loads of information on how the fire was started, the whole backstory of that. Yeah, but there's two things I want to share with you quickly. One, 
I don't have the proper photographs yet, I'll do this proper thing when I've got them all. One is this picture of the staircase, which is just, I just never imagined that it looked like that and to see it, you know, yeah, it really puts a different spin on the chateau. And the second thing is this picture. Now you can see on the corner of the balcony there's bed sheets. Now I heard a story about when there was a fire here that the wife escaped from knotted bed sheets off of the balcony, but you know, it wasn't kind of a verified thing. It was just like, you know, hearsay almost. And he said, yeah, that was true. She, the fire happened at 1 a.m. in the morning. She couldn't get over the balcony, so she tied these sheets, jumped over the balcony, landed on the terrace just there, broke her leg, drove down to him, and got him to come up and said, my house is on fire. It's just mental to have these pictures. No one else has pictures of the inside. So when I've got proper copies of all the pictures, I'm going to do a whole vlog and tell you all the history he's told me, because it's super... It's, yeah, you won't believe it. It's like something out of a movie. Um, in the meantime, if you can't wait, I've got photos of the photographs. That's all going to be on the Patreon in a couple of days. And I'm also going to tell kind of what I found out so far. So if you can't wait till then, go on Patreon and check that out. But there will be something in the coming weeks. Yeah, it's really... It's just put such a different spin on things here. Anyway... We've made such amazing progress in the last few days. Calvin's back home tomorrow. Hopefully we can do a little bit before he leaves, but this place is really coming together. I hope you lot are enjoying it. And I'll see you tomorrow.